there's a few different flavors of SLAM. Usually you'll have an inertial sensor to help you tell where you're going. And then on top of that, you'll add some type of vision or light sensor. So usually the light sensor that is used is LiDAR. And what that does is it shoots a laser in one or many different directions. And it uses the return from the laser scan to match essentially the geometry of the objects around you. So if there's a type of a building with a certain cutout that you've seen or a tree or a vehicle, LiDAR SLAM uses that information and matches its scans. It overlays them to essentially optimize the most likely situation that you've been in similar to that. Now, on the other hand, with a camera, a camera uses key features. So again, kind of things like corners, but it can use different types of information than LiDAR can because of the, the visual data that's coming in. Visual SLAM can use unique features coming from a camera stream, things such as corners or edges or other things like that. It stores the information that helps it to describe what that unique shape looks like so that when it sees it later, it can match that it's seen that thing, even if it's from a different angle. LiDAR is a technology that's similar to radar, but with light. So we all know how when you're driving too fast and there's a police watching, they, they have their radar gun and it shoots an electromagnetic wave and it bounces back and, and it, it, it measures how long it takes for that signal to return to know how far away you are and then they can calculate how fast you're going. LiDAR does the exact same thing, but with light. So it shoots a laser and then it has a sensor that's looking for that signal to return and based on how long that takes, it can tell how far away something is. So typically there are a few types of LIDARs. There's solid state LIDAR that doesn't have any moving parts, but shoots out an array of light in different areas and measures the return. And then there's rotating LIDARs that usually have a field of little lasers that spin and they're, they're shooting out light as they go. And that gives you more of a 3D view all the way around you. So the big market that LIDAR is in right now is autonomous vehicles. You've probably seen with a lot of the recent developments, the cars that are driving on the road have these little uh, circular or cylindrical things on top that are spinning, and that's LiDAR usually, like Waymo, like Uber, Ford stuff, GMs, crews. Pretty much everybody, everybody but Tesla is using LiDAR these days. What are the advantages of LiDAR? One of the big things is it's an active sensing source. So it's actually shooting out the light that it's receiving back again. So if you're wanting to drive or navigate at night, that's a big advantage because you're not relying completely on daylight to do that. That's one of the, the disadvantages that cameras have is pretty much you have to drive in the day. So infrared cameras do a similar thing to LiDAR where they have a little infra infrared light that they shoot out and then they're receiving it again. So they have like a, an infrared spectrum flashlight that they're shooting out and then sensing. So there are some disadvantages that LiDAR have and currently the biggest one is cost. It's a new technology. Previously it's been extremely expensive and that cost has come down a lot in the last few years but still compared to cameras it's relatively high. The other disadvantages is that while it does have a lot of information about the depth, it doesn't have some of the other information that cameras have like color, which can give you a lot of really good and interesting data. It does have reflectivity that's similar. So sometimes cars can see like lane markings based, of, based off of how reflective they are. But again, it's not like a camera that has full color. So if you're operating in any type of environment where GPS or any type of global positioning is either occluded or not at all available, VSLAM is something that you should look into. If you want to learn more about Visual Slam or anything else that we've talked about, please just click the link below and we'll get in touch with you.